Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks to everyone who watched the last uh, breakdown video. Um, but today though, I'm gonna be focusing on a new animation that I made, this time using a segment from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. There's so much that can be said about why this film is so well made, and a lot of which is already covered in other videos online. But I think the thing that really resonated with me, and the reason I picked it as a test today, was mainly down to its distinctive art style. The creators like clearly pushed the animation somewhere it hadn't been before, and changed what could have been just an animated film to a living, breathing comic book. But using techniques like the old school split screen panels, you know, half toning, hatch line work, and even things like, you know, action words that pop up. One quote that I remember reading, kind of a mantra that, that the team had that was, if it ain't broke, break it. And, you know, that really sums up the creativity that is involved in this film, where they had to constantly break the rules to kind of find something unique. But one style that hasn't been used in this film, and one I was curious to test myself, was oil paint animation. I'm currently studying a master's in learning more about this technique, so I want to use Spider-Man today as a way of testing out how oil paint animation um, works uh, when combined with fast movement. This is not going to be an original animation, this is going to be a rotoscope animation, so I'm going to be painting over every frame of the scene just to kind of learn more about the technique and how it looks. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it. So to start with, I've cut together about four or five shots from the scene. Um, each shot is roughly two seconds long and the scene itself is, is quite fast paced. Uh, Miles Morales is basically web slinging through New York. It's the beginning of him stepping into the Spider-Man shoes, so it felt like a good fit for this animation test. I'm doing this on the iPad today uh, using Procreate as I did last time, so technically this is a digital oil paint animation. At some point in the future I'll do a comparison video on, on using the two mediums, traditional and digital. For today though I'm sticking with digital just because it gives me a bit more control and it means I can get this done a bit quicker. So usually before coming to a decision on what kind of style to choose, I tend to sketch over the frame three or four times until I find one I like the look of. It's pretty tough to know for sure how this will look in motion when you're just doing the still images. Um, but, but once you get to like frame six or seven, you can run it back and that half a second usually is enough to know uh, whether it's working. With the last Simpsons piece I did, I was focusing mostly on animating um, the foreground and the facial expressions. You know, it was fairly slow movements overall. Uh, with this one, I'm repainting every part of the frame. So painting the background and the foreground and probably putting a little bit more detail into Miles Morales himself. One thing about this film is there's so much detail in every frame. I think the filmmakers wanted you to be able to pause the screen at any point and it looked like a comic book. So I'm actually blending together the fine lines here and I'm kind of almost losing some of the detail to make it look a bit more fluid. Um, but what I'm trying to do is keep the important parts. I'm trying to retain the light where I can. I'm actually trying to pump more light into the scene um, so that it really doesn't lose its, its vibrance. The downside to doing this is that I do lose clarity in the words. I'm going to redraw some of these action words so that I don't lose that comic book style. For example, I really like the text that scrolls up the side of the building. So I'm going to add a similar version of that, um, but I'm going to do it behind him as he kind of moves closer to the camera. I also really like the idea of emphasizing certain frames, so similar to how they've done with the action words, but you know, for this it's going to be a bit more subtle, so when he lands on top of the trucks, I can kind of switch up the colour and warp the objects around him, almost like he's in his own world and everything kind of moulds around him. Just a quick note on the frame rates for this. Um, they did actually use different frame rates in various situations. So, for example, in one scene, um, Peter Parker's animated on ones, which is 24 frames a second, while Miles Morales is, is um, animated on twos, which is 12 frames a second. Um, and that's really interesting to me because they kind of used it as a characteristic within the film um, to kind of show the dynamics between the different personalities. How many more spider people are there? Save us at Comic-Con. What's Comic-Con? Let's go! So for this, I'm myself going to be animating on twos, so I'm going to be sticking to 12 frames a second. Uh, one, because I think it looks better like that in this style. Um, and two, uh, just because I don't want to be here for the rest of my life painting these frames. So you can see now we're beginning to get a sense of how this style looks. Uh, I, I like it overall, um, how the oil effect responds to the fast paced movement. The images kind of merge together and it ends up looking more like a moving painting rather than a moving comic book. I have had to sacrifice some of the, the nice detail 
and that obviously works better for the sake of the film. But for this test, uh, it's been a it's been a really interesting experiment and, and a good learning process. I think I've painted roughly 190, maybe 200 frames. Uh, I did lose track of the hours, but I, I think it was, took about a week in total on and off. Okay, well, I think I'll leave this here today. Um, let's run this back and see how it looks. Well, thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this quick breakdown video. Leave a comment if you have any questions. Um, I've got other ideas kind of lined up, so subscribe and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.